I'm going to show you how to resolve a problem which a lot of people have and that is that if you have too many apps on your Android phone for that matter even an Apple phone but Android offers a fantastic feature but most especially on Samsung phones um, so I can only really show this on available on Samsung phones because of uh, the menu system but I'm sure that it's available on all Android phones under app power management but for the Samsung range of phones and this is a Samsung S9 all you have to do is drag your finger down once and then tap the cog button and then look for sleeping apps so I've done that and I don't really want to go through all of that because that's just you've got to look for advanced and you've got to find it under all of this under app management and it could be in different places so the easiest way to find it no matter which phone you're looking for and especially with the uh, Samsung phone is type in sleeping apps now because I use this often uh, commonly here it is already pre-cached so I can just tap sleeping apps it will populate it in the search for me and it will give me the list of the option for sleeping apps and that's what you should see okay and just get rid of this little icon here which I don't need right so this is what you should see now where it says apps that won't be put to sleep these this is because I've got active battery management enabled which enables the machine to automatically notice apps which are not being used as often uh, and it to uh, put them to sleep but it doesn't work very well or anywhere near as effectively as you doing this manually so you want to tap sleeping apps and when you tap sleeping apps it will give you a list of apps that are currently in the sleeping mode so as you can see I've got Yodel I've got 4k downloader I've got an alarm clock I've got uh, whatever I can't read those so, but you get the idea there's a big list there and um, you can click add so if you wanted to, you could click add an app and then you scroll down and or alphabetically and find the app that you want to um, put to sleep. So I've just recently installed an app uh, called Apps Backup Restore that happens to do a backup of APK files. Now I don't really need that taking up CPU power unless I actually am opening it and using it and myself. I don't need it doing anything on its own. So I tap that. So now this will reduce the amount of CPU power that that particular app uses and they're significant when you add up when they go above about 40 apps they really start noticing um, on your phone so once I've done that I click add which is down here I tap add and it's now moved it into the apps into the sleeping apps section um, I think it was called what was it called backup and apps i'm trying to remember what it's called now um oh yeah sorry apps backup restore it's at the start yeah under a silly me so now that means to say that that those apps that particular app including all my other apps that i've got here they're all in a sleep state kind of like in a coma and the only time that they become awake is when you physically tap the app and and run the app manually yourself it doesn't talk to the app, um, to the app store in the background 
or the app servers that serve the apps and do the updates. So what this means is that the only downside to the benefits of speeding up your machine is that these apps do not talk to the network, they do not push data to the network, and they also don't receive any updates automatically. So just to get around that, and it's no big deal, so I, I, I never put, for instance, banking apps to sleep because I don't really want a position where I have to update a banking app when I need you know, money, but that's the only apps I don't really put to sleep or anything that like a timer or something like that but if it's just a you know an app like that's just needed occasionally then uh, I, I i don't i don't need it you know so i just I like my my alarm clock one i run it and then it's running obviously as an alarm clock for the night so again it doesn't need to run in the background um i keep the, the alarm clock display running at night. So what's the drawback? So as the drawback is it's not going to update itself at night. So let's go now to my Play Store app and now we're going to resolve that problem and can you see it says there. Now normally what that will do is it will sometimes say manage apps if it can it, it often will say manage apps here so you tap manage apps and that's where it says manage apps because if I go back one step maybe it might display it now so this is what you would normally see and you would see manage uh, my apps, sorry, my map, sorry, my apps and games, should I say? And there it is there. And all you have to do is tap update all, just there. And as you can see, it's now going to update them all. And because I'm at home and I'm connected to Wi-Fi. And because I've only enabled apps to update over Wi-Fi, it's not going to use up my mobile data. So it's not going to cane my mobile data in the process. And it's, anyway, this process carries on and updates the appropriate apps as you go in the background. So you don't really need to uh, leave that uh, the Play Store app open. And that's one of the reasons why I don't put the Play Store app to sleep. Because this is, I want this to be able to do it in the background. So that's pretty much it. And then what you'll notice is that your, the speed of your phone is improved dramatically. I'll make another video on how to make the phone a little bit faster again. But that's available on um, other YouTube channels. And that simply involves opening up the advanced developer mode, which then you can uh, reduce the uh, delay between the animated graphics, between m how when you press a button, it slightly animates it, which is fairly imperceivable, but it looks more fancy. You must never really go below 0.5 of a second but it's usually set to 1.5 seconds animation and that 1.5 seconds animation makes the phone uh, look a lot slower than it really is but you should be able to find that elsewhere that's a very good feature I would say that's the that this is the this method here that I've just shown you on sleeping apps is by far the best way to properly speed up your phone and also to significantly reduce the amount of uh, data that you consume on your Android device. Um, and the only drawback is that you have to update manually like that or force an update of which you can put on your calendar to do yourself on a once every Friday night. 
so it's not really a big deal is it and it updates all your apps in one big chunk if you've got about 100 apps it's going to take about maybe one hour but if you're at home no big deal